Hey guys, how you going? You're sure to be Jade and Jane, full effect word. Back here, live at direct with you. Um, I thought I'd uh, do a dessert. I decided to make something, or try and make something, um, first time on, on electric, um, which is a uh, crumble. Okay, for you who live in uh, North America and Canada, you don't know what good crumble is. You have this rubbish called, um, what do you call it? Um, crisp. Apple crisp. Have you ever gone into one of these places and they have apple crisp? It's garbage. It's, it's, there's so many things wrong with it. I don't even know where to start with, but they have this, like a fruit, stewed fruit, which is, which is overly sweet. It's like syrup. And then they put this crap kind of sprinkles on, like graham crackers, graham biscuits or something. That's not crumble, okay? So I'm going to show you how to make a good apple. Actually, I'm not going to make apple crumble. The, 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 um, the thing which Americans say, mom's apple pie, okay, in the UK we have mom's apple crumble, okay, so I'm going to make for you instead of apple, peach, now you can substitute any, um, any, um, any fruit you like, apple, peaches, pears, anything, I thought I'd do peaches. We're back, <clears throat> so we need a, a mixing bowl, and now we're going to make the crumble, <clears throat> so we need one cup of our, um, all uh, purpose flour. Don't get self raising or anything else. We need an all uh, purpose flour. Normally, some recipes mean that you need to sieve. You don't actually need to sieve this. This is fine because crumble is going to be crumbling. It's going to be some texture in there. Okay, we need that. Next, we need one teaspoon of our baking powder. That goes in there. And we need a pinch of salt. Oh. oh, to give that a bit of a stir. Okay, so next we need uh, six tablespoons, and that's this kind of thing, uh, of uh, butter cut up into cubes. This is probably about six tablespoons, give or take, okay? And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to mix this by hand. So you want to make sure that your hands are nice and washed and get all the dirt from out from them, okay? And basically, we're gonna do just like this. This is gonna take a little while. After a while, your uh, it should look like this, like uh, breadcrumbs, okay? Three tablespoons I've got in here of uh, brown sugar and white sugar. Now, it's a version by Linda Gale Lewis. <laughs> should call the show the singing cook show. Right, so we've got our, um, our sugar. A lot of sugar here. But this is for a whole cake, right? Can you see? Just give it a stir. Now, when you make the crumble, the crumble mixture, don't worry if there's bits and pieces. Okay, that's the whole point. It's a crumble. Now, can you see how it's all kind of... Yep. That's fine. Now, oh, we'll be back in about 10 minutes after we put this in the fridge and come back and finish the rest of this cake off. Okay, so we're back now. Um, we need to get approximately six cups of our peaches and as you can see the frozen peaches they're real peaches man okay one of these they're real peaches they're just cut and flash fresh fro flash frozen but if you want to get fresh peaches hey that's cool okay now six cups is approximately 600 grams so maybe this is like a uh, hundred gram cup okay now we need we need two tablespoons of lemon juice. Now most people are scared of using lemon juice. They want to get the, the real lemons. These are so easy to do. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. What we do is we get a lemon. We cut it in half. Cut it in half in the bowl. 
Okay. Now we have to bang it into the microwave for about 15 seconds. The best way to do get lemon juice. The other stuff is absolute concentrated crap. So what we do basically use the fork and we do that. There. We're going to give this a little I think this is actually may need to stop the um, the fruit yellowing. Okay. That's um, I'm rapidly running out of bowls in this house. I don't know where they all go to. So now we've got some more stuff to do for the filling. Okay, I put the filling in the fridge for the moment. Now we need a quarter of a cup of our all-purpose flour. We need two. Uh, thirds, this is a third cup, we need two third cups of sugar, put that in there, we need a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, Slay, so I'm telling you when it says to use unsalted butter, rubbish, just use regular salted butter, easy, Get don't get the nutmeg powder because these are like a, so easy to do, uh, nice small, get one of these things, just like that. Nutmeg, though it looks hard, very, 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 very easy. You see? Okay, and I think. There you go, that's our uh, pinch of nutmeg. It's a guesstimate, okay? Uh, so then now what we need to do is we need to just give this a mix. And we need to add this. And we just need to give this a toss. You see? <clears throat> so that the pieces, don't mix them, okay? Just toss them. So you can see, I think you can see here, all the pieces have got a light coating. And we want to put the... into there. Okay, can you see that? Let's just, I want to zoom in a bit on this because this is looking quite nice. Mmm, yummy. We're going to be eating that soon, mums and dads, boys and girls and kids at home in the gallery. Right, oops, where is this? Uh, okay. Now what we need to do is we need to dot little bits of butter all over the fruit. something a little bit like this. So, uh, we're nearly there. Uh, we need to preheat our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got our uh, fruit. We have our um, lovely uh, mixture here. Oh. And now what we do is we just sp sprinkle it over. Just try and get it nice and straight. And here, 
There we go. Those lovely bits of crumble. You can already see, oops, you can already see what this is going to be like. Now we need a, a tray. Put in tray, get a cover, and cover. I'm just waiting for the oven to preheat and we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so the oven is uh, ready at 375. Uh, we're going to bang it into the, um, the top shelf for 25 minutes. Okay, so we've just banged it into the oven for 25 minutes at gas 375, uh, electric 375 degrees Fahrenheit, the big F. That was a P, wasn't it? That's F, F, 375F, okay? And uh, I've got a, another cup of tea uh, ready to brew and let's knock that back. And 25 minutes we're going to come back and have a look at it and then we're going to decide what to do with it then, okay? So don't go away, come back, it may be ready! Or it may not. So 25 minutes is up, we're going to have a look, see what we can see. Now we need to bang this in for another 10 minutes. Okay, so um, our time is up. We've done 10 minutes, so we're going to have a look. Let's have a look. See. Mm, yeah, that's looking definitely better. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, leave this in the hot oven for another 15 minutes. To gently finish off uh, cooking. So um, we've taken it out of the, uh, the oven and um, it's not looking too bad actually so uh, it's not too bad so we'll leave it like that for the minute and we'll come back to it when it's ready to serve and there we go that's the finished product peach crumble serve it with uh, some ice cream or some cream have it cold or warm enjoy <laughs>